And on news making headlines across borders, South Africa's power utility firm ESCOM has put renewable energy projects at the core of bringing additional capacity to plug the electricity shortfall. ESCOM says it is focusing on implementing all projects in order to meet the required 53 gigawatts of new additional energy for the period up to 2032, which will ensure energy security. Here are the details of this and other stories making headlines across Africa. The power utility firm says the additional capacity will come from renewable energy sources and takes into account the current energy deficit of between 4,000 and 6,000 megawatts. This as South Africa continues to suffer repeated power blackouts, with ESCOM struggling to keep the lights on. ESCOM has confirmed the return of load shedding today. This after South Africans enjoyed a load shedding free weekend. South Africans have for the longest time been enduring relentless power cuts thanks to load shedding. The load shedding stages have been varying between stages 2 and 6 with no end in sight to the country's electricity crisis. ESCOM said stage 2 of the rolling blackouts will be implemented from 5 a.m. on Monday until 5 a.m. on Tuesday. Elsewhere, the Central Bank of Egypt has decided to liberalize the exchange rate and raise the interest rate by 2%. In an exceptional meeting of the Monetary Policy Committee, over the past two days, the price of Egypt's bonds offered in euros and dollars in foreign markets increased. The Central Bank of Egypt says the financing package that Egypt obtained is positive, but needs additional solutions to bridge the financing gap. Among the options being explored is foreign direct investments through the sale of state-owned assets as part of the strategy to exit some sectors for the benefit of the private sector. Finally, Ghanaian President Nana Akufo Addo says his country is experiencing its worst economic crisis. The Ghana city has depreciated by over 50% this year and is listed as the world's worst performing currency against the US dollar. In a televised address to the nation, the president blamed speculations and illegal forex traders for the depreciation adding that the central bank would clamp down on perpetrators. Fuel prices have been rising in the country and inflation has risen to a record 37.2%. To address the crisis, the president said the government would maintain a 30% cut in the salaries of the president, vice president, ministers and other government appointees. Ghana is also negotiating a $3 billion IMF bailout program.